What's up guys, this is Shared Talking, welcome back to my channel, and today's video is the last romancing fight of Silver's tournament, now against Silver herself, and this fight is pretty fun, because you need to kill Silver as soon as possible. She has this auspicious dragon, the same skill that the version with Summon uses, but she can use this forever, creating a new chase attack, so as much as the fight goes, she will get more chase attacks, so... Nuke strategies that kill Silver faster will be the best way to handle the situation. She's weak to Cold and Shadow, and you have to think about defenses as well. Focus on Sun first, then Blunt, then Heat. With that said, the first strategy will bring Nuke and Explosive Nuke, to be honest. We also need to talk about the formation, that being Whirlwind, because this one is good since it does not rely on attacking after the enemy and you can place three characters in the front line to be protected. And we have here Rouge. If you have it, US one is much better. I don't have, so I needed to bring this second to last version with Dark Wash inherited because Silver can buff all of her status and start off each turn, becoming very strong. Then the other character is Rag Robin because he's a healer, he's the best healer in the game and can also sometimes negate the damage. Then we have Dark. Dark is super strong here because this is not even Global X Dark. It's the one before. We call him Bloody Dark. He buffs his dex 32 times. Has also uh, attack increased when attacking critical. And his attack is critical against humans. You do plenty of damage. You can inherit the instant kill attack from the Global X version, but you need to use this on specific turns because it deals recoil damage to himself. And Matriarch with PN off Peace. The last character is Leon with inheritance of his Ice Bullet because the boss is with two. Cold. And don't forget about the equipment. So I'm going to show you the things that I'm in using. So, in order to resist the best against the attacks that she is using. So, here we go. And Silver acts different than the other bosses. She is going to use the support skill that allows her to chase on turn 1, then turn 4. And from that, ever two turns. So we can prepare. Like Dark can start with Shadow Lunge because this is a, actually a free attack. Rouge will. Well, you can use Energy Bolt, but you can also use Normal Attack CVP. I'm gonna use Energy Bolt because I don't wanna miss the Normal Attack. If you have the other Rouge, you can also uh, just use the cheapest attack. Then here will be Proeminence, Match Rock with Pina Peace, and Yen will use the Ice Revolver till we have full bullets. Silver also buffs her status all turns. Oh, we got a far people combo. The good fact is that when you get combos, you get increased status from buffs. Now, she just applied a follow-up stance. Okay, we knew this would happen. Now we will just use Shadow Lunge again. Uh, energy Bolt. Since it's just the start of the fight, I will save Dark Wash for the next turn. That's a little more dangerous. But I will use Steel Blade Phoenix now because I need to protect myself and have full HP by turn 3. Let's see what she's going to do. She won't use her strongest nuke because it seems like she doesn't have VP like the character that we use. So turn 2 damage not that big. Turn 3 is big. Good fact that she attacked at Polka. Only one chase as you can see. And yeah? just heal it. Everyone is on full HP. Now, we can actually use um, instant Q if we plan on using the shield from Metro, but I don't plan, so I'm gonna use Bludgy Harvest. Then it's time to use Dark Wash. Then Rag Robin will use Proeminence, be enough peace, and another Ice Revolver. That's nice. Now she doesn't have buffs. Her damage will scale back. Growing time, Hurling Dragon. The fact here is that she applies one damage block. That, Polka just removed it. That's good. Now, you can keep using Bloody Harvest every turn if you want. Um... We're going to use Energy Bolt, Steel Blade Phoenix, you know, Beast, and the and last Ice Revolver.
Right, a species dragon, like we were expecting. Rouge is close to full HP now, again. Okay, another bludgeon harvest. This time I have to use a normal attack, because I will want to use Dark Wash over the next turn. Lian's already doing damage now. Two follow-ups, as expected. And now, we... we win. There's no way to lose anymore. I uh, will use uh, Bludgy Harvest or Instant Kill. I think I'm gonna use Bludgy Harvest to be safe. And then I will use Overdrive with Dark Wash. Well, maybe not yet. Because I cannot use Two Blade Phoenix, right? So, Dark Wash on Overdrive just to ensure that she will be the Buffet. I will use PNL protection just to guarantee that everyone will be fully safe and anti material shot. You got a combo. FPS drop it here, I don't know why. Silver is almost dead. <laughs> Deflect. She can block, and I can block too. Time to finish this off. Let's go. She simply didn't have enough time to kill me. And that's it, Silver is dead. Then the second strategy, we use uh, a mix of mages and the peon of victory buff instead of a peon of peace, because this will give us high endurance to survive the attacks. And instead of Poco, we are using Mask. Mask has great adventure as inheritance that will allow him to taunt well and take most of the hits. He's on the front line, just like Igomal, because Igomal can revive, and she has refined black as inheritance. We're going to switch between Malicious Streak and Shadow Haze to debuff the damage from the boss. And here in the back, I have Robin Gal, because she has Spectacle Portal Inheritance, she buffs her intelligence many times, she'll be a nuker. And the other one is, is a Spell Girl. Why? Because she can heal, single target, she can use Dimensional Aura to give Guard up, and can also heal everyone with Telekinesis. And the equipments that I'm using are these ones here, focus it on decreasing Sun Damage, Heat Damage, and Blunt. Ah, and before we go, actually... Now, let's start the fight with Pin of Victory. Great Adventure, Shadow Haze. Turn 1, we're just gonna use normal attack with a Spell Girl. And Headbutt with Robin Gao.
Okay. Now taunt it three times. Second turn is not that hard yet, so... I'm not so sure. Maybe I'll use another Shadow Haze. Yes. Uh, I will also save Dimensional Aura for now. Or not. No, no. Let's just use it. Let's protect. Headbutt debuffs intelligence, but it's not used. One chase attack, one day! Yeah, Joe is unprotected here. Not big. We just use healing rod now. It's time to start using Spectacle Portal. Nice, we got a combo. Look on the damage, 300,000. Nice, Mask took the big hit. Now she has damage block. And now she also chases, so good time to... Switch into Malicious Trick. Actually, no, we can use Refined Black. A normal attack, I guess. Headbutt. We miss it. Sadly. When we miss, a spell girl does not get uh, 5 VP. Okay. Next turn is still not that dangerous, so... Let's use Peon of Victory again. Alongside Great Adventure. I will use Shadow Haze. Dimensional Aura. This will probably be the last headbutt we're gonna use. This attack parried this damage. Two hundred only. Now six hundred. We're too safe, but this turn we're gonna take more damage. I will use under Shadow Haze because this allows me to use Refined Black more often. And under Dimensional Aura and the start of Spectacle Portal again. No, two turns we are over with this fight. Glowing Tiger on Mask. Damage block. Now she's going to attack multiple times. Oh, not yet. But from now on, she's gonna break the rules, so. Peon of protection is needed. I can already use Refined Black. Telekinesis. I will use Overdrive. I don't care. Yeah, I guess my normal attack <laughs> with Mask will heal the party. I forgot about that. He also heals, right? <laughs> he just doesn't tank. That's okay. And now Silver uses all species dragon. 
It will start doing so much damage, but she won't survive for that. She will be dead. Look, this turn is plenty of hits. Plenty. She will have, I think, five follow-ups or six. But then she attack again. And then she will just follow up five or six times. Yeah, it's over now. <laughs> I don't even have VP left with Matriarch 2. Yeah, <laughs> take this sparkling ice to finish the fight. Only the first hit does big damage. <laughs> well, that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't. If you want to support the channel, there are links in the description. Hope to see you soon in the next one. Bye.